My name is John Stevens, pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we're part of the ELCA. And this is Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where we take a look at the lectionary text and we tie them to an item from the dollar store. And this is uh, for the first Sunday in Lent, and it's the story of t- the temptation of Jesus and where he goes out and uh, in the desert for 40 days and he is uh, tempted by uh, uh, Satan. And uh, so this Sunday, I thought I would use it as a chance to talk about talk to the kids about giving up something. One of the reasons why we give things up for Lent is that uh, when we uh, have a desire for them, we can actually think about what Jesus gave for us. And one of the common things that people give up uh, is uh, chocolate. And um, I brought along with me um, uh, a reminder of that. It's from the dollar store. It's a pair of chocolate praying hands. Yes, it's so bad, it's good. And um, so it says, uh, hear my prayer. And so there's times where, um, you know, if I'm giving up chocolate for Lent and and I feel that I I want a piece of chocolate and I go, oh, and I can lift up a prayer, kind of like these hands, and uh, I can pray, say, God, you know, I want this and I'm not going to have it, but I remember what you gave for me. Um, hopefully I'm not eating a pair of chocolate hands by the end of Lent. So anyway, and this is a, a way that we can talk about um, uh, that it's one of the reasons people choose to give something up. So, um, and maybe talk about uh, what uh, other things people give up. Um, maybe uh, I have a friend that gives up um, insulting uh, people. Or uh, he, a friend of mine takes up, uh, instead of giving something up, says, you know, for Lent, I'm going to work on eating all my vegetables in a way that when we remember and when we do that, it again helps us remember what God has done for us. But so I'm using the chocolate hands uh, just so you know that um, this is, is it's one of those items you run into and you go, oh, this is awesome. But it's prayer hands in chocolate and then inside uh, is it's a card and is the serenity prayer. Um, and they do actually credit uh, uh, Richard and um, Reinhold, sorry, not Richard, Reinhold Niebuhr. And, um, and so um, they do get the credit right. But anyway, just awesome, just a wonderful item to find. So uh, if you can't find it, if you go to find it in your dollar store or Dollar Tree doesn't have it, you can use any kind of chocolate. I just liked this because the praying hands. And, and as I'm going through Lent, there will be times where I'm praying, Dear Lord, Keep me from my chocolate. Help me remember what you've done for me. So uh, that is uh, this is the I- item for uh, this sermon on children's sermon on temptation because uh, chocolate tempts me. All right. Hope you can use this. I hope it's a springboard for uh, a sermon for you. And so uh, I hope you have a blessed week. And like always, thanks for stopping by.